Welcome to Active Rachel Ann. My name is Rachel and thanks for stopping at my channel. Today I'm um, involved in a collaboration from Robert at Freak Fit Wolf and Barrett Pastor. And the name of the collaboration is Falling Into Fall. And today we're going to be talking about fall inspired things. Especially, how am I going to stay on track and lose weight this fall? Join me. We're going to be making a meal today. It's going to be hot honey chicken. And I'm going to go through a corn maze. Enjoy. Here, hold on. Corn is over my head. This is fun. Welcome back to my channel. So, one of the things I like about fall is the fact that with the changing of the season means that it's a renewal of some sort. Um, we get to choose to do something different. We get to go in a different direction, right? So let's say all summer long, you've been letting things go, your diet, your exercise, what have you. So for me, that same similar situation happens too. I let things go, but what I like about fall is the fact that I get to start over fresh. It's kind of like a mini New Year's resolution, right? We all have the ability to hit refresh and hit restart anytime. And so that's why it's important that we all take time to hit restart once in a while. So as I'm talking to you right now, I'm going to be doing a little craft. Um, I'm going to be making a little fall basket that I love to put out in the front um, as fall is upon us. And I'm going to be filling up this little pot with one of these little foam fillers. And I bought, I love to repurpose and recycle and reuse any way possible. So I got this little fake flower arrangement from the thrift store. And it's just full of all of these beautiful daisy or uh, sunflowers. So I'm going to put those in my little green um, foam and then it's just gonna look beautiful and full and then it's all gonna sit in my basket that I got from the thrift store for five bucks beautiful right and that's gonna sit outside my front porch I just love it so tell me like if you guys have any ways of how you um, get back on track and what you guys do to hit restart because it's not easy like life is not easy it's never made easy for us so I just want to make sure that you know, we're all kind of going and heading in the right direction. And it's always good to get inspiration from all of you too. So let me know what you guys do to get back on track with things. And this is my finished product. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. So going back to what I was speaking about as far as fall, I think going forward, all I want to do is I used to say it to myself, well, I think it's easier to lose weight in the fall, but really... Um, last fall, it wasn't easy for me to lose weight. Actually, the summertime is easier for me to lose weight. I think it's because I'm more active. And again, there's fresh fruit and veggies that are available that um, are easier and more accessible in the stores especially. And so this fall, I'm going to make it my goal to um, be active, which I think for me, I'm going to start by taking advantage of a gym membership that I'm already paying for and just being more um, mindful and going more often and scheduling it into my day on the calendar for sure and then also I'm um, going to be more mindful with the foods I'm eating and the meals I'm making so I think it's possible I think we can do it guys I'm also using um, I track bites it's an app um, you can get it on the Google or the Apple store and it's very easy to use it uh, actually for me I think is a lot more easier to use than even Weight Watchers app. So something to check out. You, there's a free version and then there's also, um, there's a pro version that's only $36 a month. So something to check, excuse me, $36 per year, only a one-time payment once a year. That's a really low price. That's cheaper than one month of Weight Watchers. So something to think out, think about and uh, try out for yourself. You just gotta find something that works for you. Now, let's go ahead and make supper. Okay, so after we're done making our crafts, now let's go ahead and move on to the meal. This is hot honey chicken. 
and it's a HelloFresh meal. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored, and this is not paid. It's just a fun meal that I wanted to create with you, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is the end product. This looks really good. Uh, items that you're going to need is a half a cup of breadcrumbs. There's this Mike's Hot Honey infused with chili sauce. Um, boneless skinless chicken breast. Broccoli florets. Sour cream. Sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. This is a tablespoon in here. And then four little, um, uh, four little potatoes. And then this should be 360 calories. I think per serving. So let's find out how many servings there are. Um, two persons, four persons. So I think you could split this up to four people, but I think we're gonna just make it for two people for right now. So the first step is to wash and rinse all your produce, including the potatoes and the broccoli. So I've already done that. And then the next step is to turn your oven on to 425. Get that started on the preheat, and then we're gonna cut up our potatoes into half inch cubes, like this. Just like this. Next, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on this um, after I put it on the baking sheet, and then I'm gonna put about half of this packet of the honey, hot honey sauce, and then I'm gonna put a pinch of pepper and a generous pinch of salt. So instead of a drizzle of olive oil, I'm going to use um, the nonstick cooking spray because that will be just a great replacement. And I meant to say this is the barbecue seasoning. I'm going to pour half of this packet on it. Dash of pepper. Good helping of salt. Now I'm going to set this aside. Okay, so now we're going to make the crust for the chicken. You're going to need to have two tablespoons of butter if you're making um, all of the um, meal, like both pieces of the chicken. Then you're going to add the rest of this seasoning, of this uh, barbecue seasoning. Oh man, I wasted some on the counter. Then they want you to add in a good helping um, amount of olive oil, which this time I am going to add in a good glug. And then pepper and a lot of salt. And then your breadcrumbs. And you're going to stir it all together. Next, we're going to take the next baking sheet and we're going to get ready to start topping our chicken. But first, we're going to do a light layer of um, cooking spray so it doesn't stick. So they wanted you to pat dry the chicken so that it wasn't full of moisture. Then they want you to add the sour cream topping, if I can get it open. <laughs> so I'm gonna go about half and half. There's nothing fancy here, so I'm just gonna use my fingers and spread it around. So we're using the sour cream as a base to keep the breadcrumbs to stick to it. Does that make sense? Okay, now we're gonna add the breadcrumb topping. We're just gonna mound it on. Put 
push it in. My mouth is watering already because this smells so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the chicken and the potatoes in the oven. It's gonna cook for 20 to 25 minutes. About halfway through, I'm gonna to toss my potatoes. And then um, after that, we'll work on the broccoli. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the broccoli in the microwave. What they want us to do is put it in a microwave dish, cut up all the big pieces into smaller bite-sized pieces, add one to two tablespoons of water, cover with plastic wrap, poke some holes in the top, and then cook it for one to two minutes. And we'll be good to go, steamed veggies. All right, so the potatoes and the chicken are done. They just came out of the oven, and we're waiting for the veggies to finish cooking. And then we're gonna plate it up and try a bite. Here it is. Yum-o. Looks so tasty. Let's have a bite. Mm-mm-mm. It's a little hot. Mm-mm-mm. Now the one thing I forgot was to add this Mike's Hot Honey but you know, this chicken is seasoned so well without it that I don't even think it's necessary. But if you wanted to, you definitely could. I think honestly, the barbecue seasoning that's on top is quite spicy enough. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, this is such an exciting collaboration. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Just wanted to say thank you again to Barrett Pastor and Robert at Freak Fit Wolf for inviting me in in this collaboration. There's a lot of other people that have really great channels and if you just check the description box down below, you can look at all of their videos too who have also been invited in this collaboration. So, what are you guys going to do to make this fall successful? Stay on track and lose weight. Tell me in some comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day everyone. Happy fall.